to drive. Yeah, yeah it's I'm, really fantastic. It really is a go-kart. Have fun. of Jay Leno's garage. The car we're featuring today, well, you tell me. This is the only one in the world. Very unusual, very sexy, very stylish. It's got Ferrari badges on it, meaning it is a Ferrari, but it's the only one like it. In fact, if you look here, you'll see cutaways for two helmets on each side, which is very unusual. I think it's just fantastic. I'm learning about this car just as you will because I saw this car and I asked the owner to bring it by and uh, he's gonna tell us about it now. Franco Falova, come on in, Franco. Good to see you, my friend. Oh, thank you for having me. Thank Dad. you so what much for bringing this. What an honor this is. This is automotive royalty. This is a one-off Ferrari, isn't it? It sure is, okay. it sure is. And what is it called? It's called Conciso. Conciso in Italian means coin size. Okay. The minimum necessary, take right. away all of the superfluous. And this is what it is. Based on a 1989 Ferrari 328, this is a German designer called Michelac, uh, had the concept of building a car that was light right. and fast and easy to, uh, easy to maneuver on the racetrack. So he came up with the concept, and in uh, 1993, after having acquired the 1989 328, decided to do a design, an, an idea of what he wanted. And of course he wanted to do it in aluminum. Mm. He wanted to be his business card, his three-dimensional business card to enter the world of great designers of cars, mm -hmm. you know, the Pininfarina, the Bertone, et cetera, sure. et cetera. So uh, he brought it to Italy to be uh, finished and done because he wanted to make it in aluminum. And he brought it to the workshop of Bacchelli and Villa which oh. are historical names for Ferrari right. because uh, Franco Bacchelli, whom <coughs> I have talked to about the car and he remembers it vividly, uh, they are the one that uh, designed and bodied the bread vans, the right. famous sure. 250 GT show with base. They have designed a special one off uh, for Gianni Agnelli based on the body of uh, Daytona. I don't right. know if you've ever seen the car, it's a gorgeous car. Yeah. They did uh, all of the um, 512 Ferrari BBLM that raced the Le Mans, the silhouette body. So it's, uh, it's today's the body shop for the Ferrari Classic, Kelly and Villa. They made it in aluminum, and um, I, I thought that the overall designs was fantastic. Well, I think it's fantastic. What's even more amazing is it still has Ferrari badges on it because Ferrari is, even the Dino did not say Ferrari. Correct. You know, so the idea that somebody else would re would come up with it and bring it to Ferrari and it it's that good that Ferrari allows their name to be on it I think is quite impressive I think so I think yeah, so too yeah. if you think about it everything is Ferrari right, uh, right except the body which is made by the Ferrari body maker and it seems like it's shorter wheelbase but it's a standard wheelbase isn't it they did not change the wheelbase they just from the got rid of the overhang in the front and the back there is no overhang, no. and I will tell you, because of it, it's a tremendously fun car to drive. Yeah, yeah. It's fun. I, I use it as much as I can. I have unfortunately used it in the rain at times, too. Yeah, right. Uh, but let me tell you, it, it's, it's so much fun, and, and when it, even when it's a little bit cold and the car is warm, the radiator sends you a wonderful, nice, warm air through the right. cabin. So even if I lived in Colorado, I'll put a snowplow and drive it. Wouldn't and there's, care. there's no door on it, you step over. Yes. Okay. Uh, this, is, uh, this is just like the race car of yesteryear. Yeah. Remember when a, when a gentleman in the 50s and 60s purchased uh, a great car, he would have uh, these designers of body take the car, take the body off, and rebody it. Right, right. This is exactly what I think it is. It, although it was done in 1993, I think it's the trade union between the cars of the 50 and 60, in Italian, yeah. they, we would call them fuori serie, outside the series, mm -hmm. where they were specially bodied in aluminum by, uh, after all, the same people that does the work for the Ferraris and the various other marks that were doing this particular uh, proceedings. Well, just that it, that it has Ferrari name on it, it says volumes, that the respect, obviously, that they feel it's good enough, because they don't normally do that. Somebody comes with something else that they've designed, uh, sorry, not invented here, oh, you no, know. No, and no. the fact that, I mean, that's really, and I love the two helmets, the way they're, they're cut into the door, that's fantastic. In case of inclement weather, you just put your helmet on. Yeah. Yeah. I was talking to Jutta Michalak, which is the wife uh, of the uh, owner of the car, the mm -hmm. first owner of the car, and, and the, car, the, conceptual, the guy that conceptualized this car, and she said that they were uh, asked 
asked uh, in 1993 to bring the car to the Ockenheim ring, uh, yeah. which, with a couple of other special cars, the Porsche, Mercedes, and BMW, and brought in. And they did the test, and the car performed very well. Of course, it's a Ferrari. And uh, at the end of it, all of the other cars were loaded up on the trailer, and the journalist asked Utah, and says, well, where is your trailer? He says, there's no trailer. We're going to drive it back three and a half hours to our home. And, yeah. And he said, well, we hope they don't rain, but if it does, we got the helmet. <laughs> so, it, you know, it's, it's really is that, uh, that more modern concept of uh, drive your car to the track, right. have fun with it, and then drive it back home. Well, I love that era in the 50s and 60s when people would drive to the track, do a bit of work, change wheels, tires, race, and then drive it home again. I Excellent. mean, yeah. Now, how much less does it weigh, or is it about the same? Oh, it weighs. A third less, wow. 800 pounds less than the car. Wow. So the 328, uh, if, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, is 2,800 pounds, just under 2,800 right. pounds. This is just under 2,000 pounds, wow. 1,960 pounds. Wow, that's amazing. Can we open the, the hood, under the hood? Oh, the absolutely. Like? So go around, open, lift. Yes, just hold it from the wheel well. Right. Lift it up a second, let me find the spot. Okay, there Here we go. Oh, all right. And here it is, the 8-cylinder, 3.24 valves. Boy, and everything's very accessible, isn't it? Boy, this is fantastic. It's ah, easy to, to work on and change plugs and do things, too. So you remember the three series Ferrari that had uh, the entire body enveloping this area. You have to take the engine out to do any kind of service. Yeah, yeah. On this car, most every service can be done without having to remove it. It reminds me of the Lamborghini Miura. The way this opens Very correct. Yeah. Very let's, and let's transversely set, just like yeah, the Miura. Same thing, same thing. Let's uh, open the front, same deal here. Lift from, there we go. This is like the Miura, very much so. The and I can see you drive it a lot of miles. Oh yes, I drive it as much as I can. Oh, no, it's, it's wonderful. It's very comfortable. It's uh, you know the only thing is getting in and getting out, yeah. which is part of the show. Whatever you arrive, you know there's a little crowd around, and so you better be agile enough and not yeah, fall yeah. on your face otherwise. Yeah, yeah, and I imagine for women wearing a skirt, it's not that easy to. Uh, I don't think my wife has ever been in and never wife, will, never it will. Never, it never been in it. <laughs> That's funny. It's almost like a two-wheel motorcycle, isn't it? It's and it handles. It's so agile, Jay. Yeah. It's very fun to drive, probably on a racetrack, on a fast, fast turn, because the absence of aerodynamic you know, and, and this lightness might be a little squirrely. Right. I haven't had the chance yet to put it on a fast turn. Well, I love like the a, fact it's got a, the proper gearbox. You know, I like, I like a manual gearbox. Yeah, with the slots and the, all of the gauges are 328 gauges. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they did a great job of, uh, of keeping the uh, originality of the 328 as much as they could. Boy, it's just a beautiful job. Just a beautiful job. And it looks contemporary. You could design this today. I mean, so many designs, like when you see a Countach, it looks like the 80s. I mean, it's just, that's, you know, it lived in its time. Well, this could be any period. This could be, if you, if you told me this is a brand new model, I would go, oh, okay, that works. Yeah. The way it was created, the two wheel well, the outside are painted black. Right. Uh, which I think originally wanted to give the, the, the feelings of the cockpit driver of a f driving a Formula One of right. the 70s. When all you see really is your windshield and the two large front Well, I'll show you my little Gordon Murray design rocket up there. It's the same type of thing. It's red and the fenders are black and it'll show you. Hey, let's put this back down yes. to get the pure form of the car again. Oh, very nice. And then we put All the, in the wheel well. We put the pins in to hold it. Very cool. Well, can we uh, take it for a spin? I'm anxious to go for a drive. I can't wait for you to drive it. That's what I like to hear. People can't wait for me to drive their car. It's fantastic. So just step over the seat. Step over and get in it. Okay, step on the seat like this. There we go. Look at that. Very great, graceful. Oh, this is fantastic. Pedals are offset a little bit. You were right about a motorcycle. The closest feeling on a four wheel. Oh, yeah, yeah. A four wheel. I know, 
that's what's wonderful. It's a bit of a go kart. Oh yeah, it sings. It's good enough that it goes right over your head. Yeah, it does. If you feel it, you have nothing in your mouth but right on your hair. This guy did such a great job. It's a beautiful job. You know, I was in a garage of a Belgian family for 25 years. Just sitting. How many miles out of when you got it? Uh, uh, 9,300. Uh, we did about 1,000 miles. Are those kilometers or miles? Kilometers. You had to go through the whole motor? Yes, we checked all of the details of the engine, whatever the mechanics have taken it apart. And such a wonderful sound. I get up in the morning, I go to work. By the time I get to work, I'm in a great mood. Yeah, yeah. It's like a brand new car, it's all you got. 6,000 miles. It's very, very fresh. And we went through when we got it. <laughs> but imagine being for 20 plus years in the living room of a Belgian family, never That's used funny. it. I know, it's funny. Great visibility. Of course, you screwed when it rains. Yo, oh, yeah. <laughs> they just drive faster. <laughs> in Italy, they can't even enjoy this car. It is because the roads are perfect and the Italians still love them, but you'll be stopped to pieces. I bet you in the rain, the rain would go right over you, it wouldn't even get wet. Only at 60, 70 miles per hour. Yeah, yeah. But it's very tractable. I think that the 3.2 liter eight cylinder, yeah. one of the best Ferrari have ever made. Yeah. When they went to the 3.4 liter, they just pushed it too much. Yeah. Trying to keep up with the Acura. Remember the Acura that yeah, came yeah. out? It didn't come out to be as good an engine. This is 270 horsepower, nothing today. Feels like a lot more than that. Uh, so I think it's all the weight at this point. The power to weight, yeah, very good. And it's comfortable. If you were able to bring this in under the 25 year rule, huh? All right, no problem, nothing. Just came in, street legal insured. Wonderful. And the nice thing is, it's all Ferrari. There's no bespoke mechanical parts on it, so you can get it fixed. And still, those Ferrari, you don't need a computer to tell you what's wrong, right. you know, like today. And when I talked to Michalak, he said, we didn't have to change anything in the geometry of the cyclistic part, yeah. because everything was already Ferrari. So right. It was an easy transformation. And Ferrari was probably still alive when this was built. He died, what, 89? Yeah, 89. So. This was a car that was built one. It was not transformed. It was transformed in 93. Oh, I see. Okay. If you wonder why my belt looks funny, it's because the other part is stuck under the seat. I don't want to read the comments section what an idiot I am. Like, I don't know how to buckle the seat belt. Right? It's stuck under the seat. So, there you go. It's true. I vouch for that. Yeah. So was the car for sale, or did you track it down and convince them to sell, or how no, did it come about? It went up for sale at the Monaco uh, Sotheby's auction. Oh, okay. And nobody bid on it. Nobody knew the story. Nobody knew what the car was. Nobody bid on it? No. Uh, I, we were the only bidder, and we got it right away. I was with Philip uh, in uh, Sirmione the day before uh, the start of the Mille Miglia. And he said, Franco, do you like it? And I said, oh my God, I love it. And I was ready to go much higher, but uh, you know, we, 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 we got it for us. Do you still. think most people didn't think it was a real Ferrari? Do you think that was the problem? I think that most people had no idea what it was and they assumed it was a fiberglass body on a, on a car. And like like a kid car. Money. Exactly. Kind of. They didn't realize it was made by arguably the best Ferrari body maker today, that's why it's the Ferrari classic yeah. body shop. And uh, you know, it's a true Ferrari, true and true. Here's how you can tell it's a real Ferrari. When you do this. And see how easy to drive is she? Put down and go. Well, Franco, this has been wonderful. Your generosity is really unbelievable. Thank well, you so much. This has been a real treat. Yeah, what a pleasure yeah. to drive something like this, a one-off car. It's amazing, and, and a Ferrari to boot. So thank you, my friend. It's my pleasure. I'm so glad you got to enjoy it. I owe you one. Next time, I will take you up on the hill. It's a date. It's a date.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>